Who is Chang Yun? This icy boy is one of the OG characters from version 1.0. He has an awesome elemental skill that lets your entire team hit for cryo, which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, in-game story-wise, there are no story quests for him, nor is there really any mention of him. But he does in fact have a story and it is pretty cool, pun intended. Behind that icy exterior of his lies a huge, warm heart of a softie. So let's delve into it. My name is Chang Yu. My family has practiced the art of exorcism in Liyue for many generations. Fate has been generous in allowing my path to cross with that of your distinguished self. Oh no, my services are free of charge. Throughout its long history, Liyue has never had a lack of rumors and myths regarding all manner of evil spirits and demons. And regardless of the truth of such rumors, someone has to do something about them. Chong Yun was born into a renowned family of exorcists and has possessed the natural ability to drive away all kinds of evil spirits from a young age due to his congenital positivity. His powers of exorcism are far beyond the norm. His mere presence is sufficient to scatter evil spirits. However, this has proven to be an inconvenience for Chong Yun himself, for though he has undertaken hundreds of successful exorcisms, he has never seen a single ghost or demon. Chung Yun believes that a true exorcist should exercise evil with charms and swordsmanship. This natural ability that he has is just not orthodox. Therefore, he has dedicated himself to the study of exorcism techniques and martial arts, as well as seeking the haunts of evil spirits to prove himself an able and professional exorcist even without his unique physical condition. Yet, when will that condition stop being a stumbling block on his path to self-realization? Exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. There are other means to the same end, but they are not the true way. When Chang Yun first ventured out as an exorcist, there had been much talk of an evil spirit lurking inside Liye Harbor. The victim of these hauntings was a woman from a family with a high enough stature to even have a word or two with the Liye Qixin. From a time she knew not when, her sleep began to be harassed by sounds that kept her awake. But every time she tried to follow the sound, would suddenly shift behind her and begin ringing in her ears. This shock caused her unspeakable distress, and she even lost weight for loss of appetite. Her wealth was enough to hire the best exorcists from all over, but no matter what they tried, they had to retreat empty-handed. And not only did the noises persist, they even grew in boldness. It was then, just when she had given up all hope, that Chang Yun walked through her door. I apologize for coming just now, it has been far too sunny lately. I heard that this place houses a very stubborn ghost. Please, leave it to me. Then Chang Yun brought a chair over and sat upon it in the middle of the house for a time. That night, the strange sounds were no more. The wealthy woman finally had a good night's sleep, and she came running to Chang Yun the next morning with an overabundance of gold and jewelry as a reward. But Chang Yun, as was his wont, only accepted his usual fee of a few hundred more without an ounce of emotion on his face. Ever since that incident, Chong Yun has found that his reputation precedes him for miles around. He has become beloved in Liyue for his style and character. And indeed, scholars have given him this appellation. A heart of clear water and a face of ice. Heart be pure. Evil be erased. Mind be purged. World be... Um... I always forget that last part. However, calling his mannerisms and style frosty couldn't be further from the truth. Due to his congenital positivity, he is constantly troubled by increased body temperatures and sudden urges or impulses. He has tried everything to alleviate the issues, both physically and psychologically. His methods include not drinking hot water, not eating hot or spicy foods, wearing light clothes, not getting into arguments, keeping himself from being angered, staying indoors on sweltering days, and always bringing a parasol when on the job. In short, he attempted to stay away from everything that might aggravate his condition. Despite all this, his congenital positivity did not subside a whit. A little depressed, Chang Yun began to wrestle with his own body. When he heard about an evil spirit in Dragonspine, he made for the peak wearing only a shirt. Though it was hard enough to keep himself warm, he still felt this was insufficient. Digging a hole in a frozen lake, he jumped in and soaked in the icy water while waiting for the evil spirit to show itself. After staying in the lake for half a day, he finally caught a glimpse of his target. However, after pursuing it down the mountainside, he discovered it was only a snow rabbit that had been frightened off by his flying swords and floating charms. The fever that he ran afterward lasted far longer than it would in a normal person. 
Chung Hyun's innate constitution of pure positive energy is not only a huge obstacle in his path as an exorcist, but a constant daily hassle. He must be extra careful to stay away from heady things, to which he is very sensitive, or risk his positivity and emotions going out of control. Chung Yun's clan once held a celebration party at Wan Men restaurant, and though he waited until all the dishes had gone cold, he did not expect the tender rice balls to be stuffed with Ju Yun chili. After but a single bite, Chong Yun had no recollection of what happened next. However, according to the victim, namely Shang Ling, the chef of Wan Men restaurant, many unforgettable things happened. Chong Yun first jumped onto the reception desk and shouted, Everything's on me tonight! Never mind that he did not actually have money on him. He then began to chat with customers at other tables as if they were old pals, bragging to them how incredible his clan's exorcist arts were, never forgetting to taste the other people's dishes on the tables before he left. Lastly, he claimed to have sensed an evil spirit in Wan Men Restaurant. This he did not find, but he did slap a charm on Shang Ling's forehead and chase her around with his sword. Afterwards, Chang Yun scrimped and saved for an entire month to pay Wan Men Restaurant back for the mess and any damages he might have caused. He also gave Shang Ling an evil warding talisman he carved by hand. But Shang Ling, for her part, didn't mind Chang Yun's transgressions at all. Instead, she felt that the crazy Chang Yun was the real Chang Yun, without any personal walls up. Chang Yun has had the privilege of meeting a true friend in his long journey as an exorcist, Qing Shu. In contrast to the hardworking Chang Yun, Qing Shu was naturally gifted and had a more flexible way of looking at problems. After learning about Chang Yun's troubles, Qing Shu came up with a possible solution. If you can't reduce the effectiveness of your congenital positivity, what if you sought out an evil spirit that is immune to it? It gave Chang Yun a eureka moment. Since then, Chang Yun has no longer sought to alleviate his condition. Instead, he now tries to get Ching Shu to come with him to find such a spirit. What? Sightings of the legendary Ao Yin near the Sea of Clouds? Leave it to me. The old house at Fei Yun Slope has been taken over by an evil spirit? My bad, I'll tend to it right away. A master exorcist is staying over at Wang Shuen. I could learn a lot from him. Hmm, better go with a gift. Ching Shu usually makes these leads up as he goes, and thanks to his advice, Chang Yun often comes back empty handed, blaming his bad luck. I tried my best to look for it, and even spent quite a sum purchasing intelligence on that evil spirit, but I wound missing it by a hair anyway, Zhang Yun says abashed. If Ching Shu has time to spare when such an occasion arises, he will encourage Chang Yun, treat him to some new cold dish that he has found, and then set off to get Chang Yun's swindled money back. A warm and reliable companion indeed, so Chang Yun thinks at such moments. Who could he possibly trust, if not his fine friend Ching Shu? In truth, Chang Yun wishes that he could fit in more, but he is often forced to reject the invitations of others on account of his need to control his congenital positivity. Of these practices, he finds one particularly incomprehensible, hot springs. Bathing and relaxing in steaming hot water? Even the sound of that scares him a hundred times more than freezing in a lake on dragon spine. However, he has also heard everyone sing yearning praises of these hot springs, praising their comfort and asserting that they become more so the hotter they are, and that one is filled with energy for a whole week afterwards. Chang Yun still doesn't know if this is true, or if people are just teasing him, and he would have dared to try it out, if not for the ever-present problem of his congenital positivity. Ching Shu once asked him this, If you are able to master your congenital positivity, and rid the world of all evil spirits someday, what would you do after that? This seemingly off-the-cuff remark troubled Chang Yun deeply. Perhaps he had indeed missed out on a lot in life on account of his condition, but he doesn't regret spending time. If one way of living doesn't work, he just needs to find himself another, and in any case, he already has his answer. If that day comes, well, he'll go to the hot springs then. The times that Chang Yun's family has passed down from generation to generation details every spirit they have ever subdued. From little critters to the monstrous demons ground in tall tales of horror, the varieties are almost dazzling. It was one such terrifying story that inspired Chang Yun's vow to rid the world of evil spirits. But as far as he is concerned, inheriting these books has also proved inconvenient. Other than textual descriptions, the books also contain illustrations of said evil spirits that carefully detail their unique characteristics, even if the artist may not have been the greatest talent. But Chang Yun has never seen an evil spirit in his life. Unwilling to break with the artistic tradition, he was at a loss. Ultimately, he would attempt to use his imagination to draw some suitably strange images. 
Thus did the field guide to demons and beasts grow ever more exotic. Best not to think too deeply about that seven-winged, five-legged chicken beast, or that half-fish, half-hilly churl demon. Those other exorcists at least have the courtesy to wave their swords, or tack on some talismans. You just sat here for a while and now you say you're done? That I should pay you? Who are you trying to fool? Zhang Yun faced a great deal of suspicion when he first took up the role of an exorcist. He immediately faced one big hurdle. It was a lot easier to prove that evil spirits are present than not. Of course, he would seem a charlatan even compared to exorcists who just went through the motions. With all the ability in the world but no place to use it, looked on with suspicion and needing to suppress any passionate impulses. But even so, Chung Yun would not go with the flow and use some fancy act to cover for his real method of conducting exorcism. Even with his body getting in the way, Chung Yun has never once considered giving up. One day, he will become the greatest exorcist in Li Ye, control his congenital positivity, and rid the world of evil spirits. Perhaps it was this resolve that earned him the god's favor. That said, the vision granted to Chang Yun was one of cryo rather than pyro. As to which of his goals it was the vision responded to, that is also a mystery. I love Chang Yun's story. He's constantly struggling with himself and his mental health. He knows that he can go crazy when he gets excited, so he tries to be cold and unfeeling like his element, but he just isn't. And that's what I like about him. He's struggling with his own mental problems and trying to prove he's more than it by proving himself a capable exorcist even without his congenital positivity. How can you hate someone with a story like that? He is a freaking cinnamon roll. Anyways, that's as far as Chang Yun's story goes. Hopefully in the future there will be story quests involving him, and will he finally face off against an evil spear and finally get a hold of his congenital positivity? I sure hope so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.